Gas detection is an important element to workplace safety. So how did people detect gas before modern technology? The Industrial Revolution created a need for massive amounts of power, resulting in a coal mining boom. In the earliest days, one miner would act as a gas detector by going through the mine looking for gas with a lit torch and a damp cloth over his face. The danger of this led an Irish man named Clanny to invent the safety lamp in 1813. The safety lamp was a covered lantern which let in a small amount of gas but didn't let the flame out. The biggest drawback, however, was that it required constant monitoring. This led to the use of canaries. Studies at the time found these loud birds had a respiratory system very similar to humans. If the canary was chirping away, people knew the area was safe. But if the canary began to shake its cage, the miners knew it was time to get out of there. These birds were so iconic that British miners protested when the canary was finally retired from use in 1986. The annoyance and expense of canaries drove people to look for a better way to detect gases. Dr. Jiro Tsuji invented the first modern sensor, which used light wave interference. Gas would disrupt the light waves, which would cause the alarms to go off. Two years after Dr. Tsuji brought his invention to market, Dr. Oliver Johnson unveiled his own sensor, the Thermal Conductivity Detector. It measured the movement of heat through a circuit in order to detect gases. It was another 30 years before a new method of gas detection was discovered. The flame ionization detector, better known as an FID, uses a flame to heat the air, which a sensor uses to determine the presence of gases by the change in ionization. In certain semiconductors, the presence of gas leads to a decrease in the material's electrical resistance. This discovery in the 60s paved the way to metal oxide sensors, which are very rugged, although difficult to use. In 1962 came the development of the first electrochemical sensors. Commonly used in the detection of inorganic gases, they utilize electrodes in an electrolyte to either oxidize or reduce chemicals. Finally came the photoionization detector, which creates an electrical charge by bombarding the air with photons. The change in charge indicates which gases are present, as well as in what quantities. Although scientists and engineers have yet to discover the perfect gas detector, one which is easy to use and will work in any conditions, the past 50 years have seen a great deal of work on gas detectors. They have been further refined and are more reliable than ever. And that's the history of gas detection in a nutshell. Be sure to visit www.conceptcontrols.com for our complete catalog of modern gas detection equipment.